Okay, so you've received your notification in your email address that you've been successful claiming a badge for participation in EWC. Well, what we recommend is that you go to the Open Badge Passport and you use that email address to set yourself up an account. So if I log into Open Badge Passport here, you can see that you can link your account through LinkedIn or Facebook. And the beauty of using a service such as this is that you will then be able to show and share your badges and you also have access to lots and lots of other badges that are available in the community. Now the crucial part of this really is that your email address is the same as the email address that has been used for, to claim your badge. But if it's not the same you can actually add additional email addresses. So as you can see I've got three on here. You'll have to verify them so look out for a code that will come to verify them. So you can see here all the badges that I've collected and if you look at the symbols and that just shows me the visibility of those badges. So I've collected some badges which I've made available publicly and others which are um, just saved within my system and not visible publicly. Now the Open Badge system allows you to display and manage your badges and export them to other systems if you wish to and also import them from other systems if you're already an Open Badge collector. So this is a great way to put your, make your badges available and if we use perhaps one of those badges that I've already got publicly available. You can see here that there are ways, once I've made them publicly available, to share them through my own social media channels if I want to, um, and just to make them more visible. So then they're neat ways of showing the skills that you've acquired that track back directly to the criteria that give information um, about exactly how you've earned the badge, the criteria and the evidence that have been used. This makes them very attractive to employers who often use bots to trawl the internet to look for the skills um, that they require. So an open badge is a really good way of making sure that people know you have the skills they need. You may also be doing an ePortfolio. So this is Warwick's My Portfolio system. If you want to add your open badges, um, and display them on your ePortfolio. Let's show you on um, a test page here. All you need to do is to edit your page as you've already been doing, to come down to the external feed and to drag this open badges widget into your page. Now what that will then do is to look for all the public badges that you've got available in Open Badge Passport or to name the particular collections that you want to show. And you can use the tick boxes here to make them display. So if I want to make this particular badge available, I can select it. I can select multiple ones if you need to. Click Save. And then once that's worked its way through and I display the page, you'll see that my open badge is displaying. So that's a very easy way of adding to your profile page, to your ePortfolio, evidence that you took part in the EWC exchange, which may be useful particularly for uh, those of you doing the French 5 module. Open badges are um, standardised, so they work on various systems uh, nice and quick and easy to use but have baked in information about how you earned your badges. Enjoy!